to guitar. We are brothers and our mother is a school. She will guide us all and each so to let Hi everyone, we are back again with another campus tour, but in this one we are going to the senior high schools in Ghana to take a look at one of the campuses and because I have seen so many beautiful senior high schools in Ghana, I am shocked. I won't lie to you. I'm sorry if, if you're wondering why are you shocked. I am not a Ghanaian and I didn't know that somewhere in Africa they have schools like this that are not universities, that are secondary schools. So that is why I am shocked. I hope now you understand. So when I say I'm shocked, it's not because Ghana do not deserve it or even more. But I didn't expect to see this, to see this in Africa because I come from somewhere and I, I, I can't relate, okay? I can't relate. Now that I've explained my shocks, I hope that you will like this video. And of course, make sure you hit the subscription button because I'm bringing more schools here because I'm seeing too many of them and I cannot resist. So let us go to Achimota Senior High School located in Achimota at the greater Accra region of Ghana. Let's kickstart with that. Uh, let's go take a look at the campus and I will be back to give my opinion. Let's go. Ashimoto Senior High is a mixed school located at Ashimoto in Accra. The school was founded 1924 and has risen to become one of the best high schools in Ghana. Zurück nach Haus, ja. Yeah. Lass uns den Schritt nach vorne gehen, zusammen in die richtige Richtung drehen. Ich fühle dich sicher von Ost nach West. Komm, halt dich an mir fest. Schau dich in Ruhe um, du musst nicht rennen Lass uns den Schritt nach vorne gehen Zusammen in die richtige Richtung drehen Ich fühle dich sicher von Ost nach West Komm, halt dich an mir fest Yes, 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 yes. Now I'm asking, God, why didn't you make me a Ghanaian? Am I your stepdaughter? Yes, I'm saying this because why didn't I have to go through this? Guys, I don't want to show you my secondary school, okay? You are going to be, you are going to laugh and roll on the floor. Except, of course, for some of you that like me, will be like, oh, really sorry. I don't think in Ghana, even a primary school looks like that. My heart breaks for me, but I'm glad for those that went through here. Now I understand why Ghanaians are confident. Now I understand how your confidence was built. Because in Ghana, I have seen people that are not university graduates, but they are confident. Now I understand, uh, uh, Pacho, forgive me. Eh? Pacho, forgive me, why? I didn't know that it's because of all of this. Now I understand. So let us go back to the campus and random tour and I will be back. So don't go nowhere. Why would you recommend people to come to this school? Because it's one of the best. It's one of the best schools we in Ghana or in West Africa? In West Africa. Yeah, all right. I think she's a little bit shy, so. But thank you for your time, though. All right? What's a new Full compound. Yeah, but how are you guys doing? Good? Yeah, these are some of the students, and this is the campus. Why 
while I was researching for this school, these videos, I was like, God, there's something about Ghana that I just don't understand there. This is, Ghana is like a reality. It's not like the life of social media where you have to impress people. Ghana is a reality. And when the reality hits you, you'll be shocked. So reality in Ghana have been hitting me right from their unis. As for the unis, I know a lot of people that schooled here. And these people are not from poor homes. Sorry to use that word. These people are not from underprivileged home. These people are all from rich, I mean, wealthy homes. So I understand that for a rich man or woman to want to enroll their child somewhere, it simply means it's worth their money and their status in the society. Even at that, when I saw the unis, the campuses here in Ghana, like is above my expectations. I I said, okay, since it's like that, let me take a look at the senior secondary school and see why, you know, it's much talked about here. The private schools in Ghana, when it comes to senior high, is not a big deal. But the government's own senior high schools in Ghana are a big deal. Everybody wants their child there. You see, the child of very rich people are in public schools in Ghana. So that is what pricked my curiosity. And I said, okay, let's take a look. And taking a look, this is what I'm seeing. And the truth is, from, from all the videos I have seen so far, I would tell you that this is justice and fairness for everybody. After taking a look, I can understand why the gap between the rich and the poor is not that wide in Ghana. Because, I mean, what are you looking for? I don't think there's a private school that can beat any of this. There's a private senior high that can beat this school. I have seen a couple of them. My niece is in one of them beautiful well grounded ball you can't beat this one yeah uh, i have been curious to know what the inside looks like so i decided to go you know just basically go online to see if i can find a video of the interior of achimota senior high fine i was lucky to find these clips and uh, let me play for you guys and i'll be back let's take a look at how they dress up in the morning and i'll be back let's go Water. So we are doing continue the lyrics challenge. So we are here with the girls perfect. Nice. I'm going to be singing Jackie's song. I'm going to be starting, then you continue for me, okay? So don't break me, don't use me, don't lose me, don't leave me in the dark. Do you trust me and give me your hand? I'll find you, you find me, who find you? No one can see the match. I'll find you, you find me. Find me who... Yeah, it's official. Now I understand why Ghanaians are confident, smart, and intelligent because you just look at how oh god i'm talking about a public school so regardless of your parents financial status in the society you have an opportunity to be schooled in an in an environment like this one now i understand why Ghanaians. now i understand why Ghanaians loves ghana and they'll be like god bless our homeland of course a country that gives you this a country that don't discriminate against you because you are from a poor home you have no choice but to love it ghana is not perfect but trust me if you're Ghanaian, just know that you have a government that cares for you and when i say government please i'm not talking about who is ruling you currently or in the past i'm talking about the policies that have been made available on grand trust me as a matter of fact some of the countries that you think have so much don't have as much as you do ghana is a reality and the reality have been hitting me it's, it's hitting me see suggest a school that we should take a look at next suggest a school these kids are beautiful intelligent and i've seen so many of the activities in this school let's go and take a look at some of the activities and i'll be back let's go I get my stuff on my head 
and nobody understands. I fall right out, and nobody. Yeah, so this is not just uh, a study environment to be able to read, write, to be prepared for career, to be prepared to go study a professional, to go for, to go into your professional studies whatsoever. This is like everything, like it gives you an opportunity to, like for creativity. So these kids are so smart, so intelligent. They are not just educationally smart. These schools teach you to be street smart. They teach them dance, they teach them so many things oh god god bless ghana i'm i'm happy for all of you that are from this country and i'm happy for myself to at least i live here now okay and just that i wish i know how to become a ghanaian beyond just being ghanaian by pepper i wish i can actually say oh this is where i'm from biologically <laughs> biologically <laughs> i know i'm being too dramatic but trust me i love this country and you should continue that way if you're a young person that sees this video and you have all of this the government is giving you this to prepare you to become a great and better person so don't get into trouble okay if i have a young person watching this video do not get into trouble all you have to do is focus on your studies everything that you want in life you will get it in due time if you do not give up if you are dedicated to your studies okay so now i would like you to suggest a school that you like to see because from what i'm seeing online i don't think i'm about to back out soon i'm going to take a look at these schools because there's so many and they are beautiful beyond my expectation because i mean what is this a secondary school for the uni i understand for the uni one would think that oh okay they are doing this so that they can attract foreign students no so what about the secondary schools and these schools are almost for nothing now let me explain something to you in ghana from the little that i understand when i came with my niece and i wanted her to be enrolled in one of the government schools i was told she need to go back to js3 so when i wanted to know why i was told they needed to prepare her so that she can be placed in the senior high school of her choice in ghana so what that means is you cannot just finish your js three randomly and just jump to any secondary school any and just jump to any senior high you are being placed you are being given you are given an exam to walk towards like to prepare you for the you are you are given an exam that will prepare you to either be accepted or be rejected if you don't do well at the school of your choice so sometimes i heard that students are being rejected because they couldn't meet up the standard of that school how true is that let me know I, i'm not used to it i'm not used to this okay in my country you just go to school and just basically go to the same school till you graduate and then go to the university if you want or poly or any other higher institution so i don't know how it works in ghana is that true because i was told my niece will have to go back to junior secondary school to be prepared for one of these schools because I wanted her to have this experience because it's beautiful. But I'm glad though. My daughter is telling me, Mommy, I'll go here, I'll go here. She saw the videos while I was taking a look at them. She said she'll go here and I can't wait. All right, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Do not forget to turn on your bell notification so that anytime this video comes up, you will be notified. Thank you.